As forest power supply systems become more and more complicated and their load grows, greater voltage surges accompany transient processes. Key peak voltage sources include electric motors, capacitors and electric power conversion equipment, such as adjustable speed motors. Lighting strokes into overhead power transmission lines can also result in dangerous, high-voltage transit phenomena. Measurements carried out in electric systems cannot perceive such transient processes, and therefore it is impossible to prevent them. The regular current low-voltage circuits reaching peak values of many thousand volts. That is why we need to reliably protect instrumentation from voltage transients. The International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, deals with the development of international safety standards for instrumentation, control and laboratory electric equipment. Such standards serve as a basis for national standards of the USA, Canada and Europe. IEC establishes over-voltage classes based on the distance of equipment from the power supply and natural fade-off of such transient phenomena occurring in the power supply system. High classes are assigned to equipment placed a small distance from the power supply source. They require better instrumentation protection. Each class falls under a number of voltage groups. It is equipment class along with voltage group that determines maximum sustainability of equipment to transient phenomena. Generally, three basic parameters are tested. They include steady state voltage, peaking for transit voltage, and source impedance. These three criteria taken together yield an actual voltage withstand value of a certain device. The higher the operating voltage is under a certain class, the higher the transit voltage will be. For instance, an instrument falling under class 3, 600 volt, requires testing with 6000 volt transit voltage, while an instrument of class 2, 1000 volt, requires a transit voltage of 8000 volt. However, the difference between transit voltage of 6000 volt required for 3, 600 volt instrumentation transit voltage of 8000 volt applied to category 2, 1000 volt, is not quite clear. Here we deal with the source impedance. Ohm's law, I equals U divided by R, shows that a testing source with internal resistance of 2 ohms, characteristic of class 3, has a current carrying capacity 6 times as much as a testing source with internal resistance of 12 ohm falling under class 2. Instruments of class 3, 600 volt have a far more efficient protection against transit phenomena as compared to instruments falling under class 2, 1000 volt. Those so-called voltage class may seem lower. Independent testing is important to conform to the safety standards. How can we make sure that this or that instrument actually belongs to class 3 or category 2? Unfortunately, this is a rather difficult task. Manufacturers may on their own assign class 2 or 3 to their products without any tests. The International Electrotechnical Commission develops and proposes standards, but it isn't responsible for enforcing such standards. That is why it better rely on a symbol or a serial number marked on a device by an independent certification laboratory or any other recognized certification agency. Such symbol or serial number will stand for successful tests carried out by this or that agency according to national and international standards. This is the best proof that a multimeter or any other instrument chosen by you have really been tested for safety.